Hello lovelies and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss how to always look your best. Let's get right into it. Looking your best has multiple benefits. When you look good, you feel good. Your overall appearance affects your attitude and mood. Everyone's been there before. You weren't looking put together and you ran into someone you never would want to see you look like a mess. Whether it be an ex, a crush, or an attractive stranger. The only way to avoid these situations is to be ready at all times. The first thing I would recommend is for you to create a self-maintenance regimen. Now, let me start off by saying that the harsh truth is that beauty is an investment. Beauty costs money, time, and energy, so if you are someone already struggling to make ends meet, you may want to think about picking up a part-time job or weekend job so that you do have that extra income to invest into your beauty routine. Always remember that beauty is an investment in yourself, and if you're not willing to sacrifice your time, energy, and money into yourself, then no one else will. The best way to execute a beauty routine is to make a schedule of what you need to do weekly. This is all about being high maintenance to stay low maintenance, which essentially means front-loading your self-care with prevention so that you have less to maintain day to day. Let's begin with hair. Hair is our best accessory. Determine how many times a week you need to wash it in order for it to keep looking fresh. If by day three it already looks and starts to smell dirty, then don't exceed three days. Do weekly hair masks, use hair products, and styling tools. When do your eyebrows start to look overgrown? Schedule threading or waxing every few months depending on how fast they grow. Or maybe you have light eyebrows and need tints every few weeks. Determine how long one round of tint can last you and plan to redo them every few weeks. Maybe you get lash extensions. Determine how long one set can last you and plan fill-ins when they start to fall apart. Or if you prefer natural lashes, you can schedule lash lifts and tints every few months. How about your skin? What concerns do you have? Research the solutions. Maybe you need deep facials every few months or weekly facials at home. Think about your nails. Do you go bi-monthly to the nail salon or do you paint them weekly at home? Think in depth about these things so you can create an easy, effortless routine. Remember, even just having little things like your hair, eyelashes, and nails done really can elevate your appearance. Another important aspect is setting aside time in the morning before we leave the house to apply makeup. Setting up a little space where you can actually sit down and do your makeup one thing I've noticed is that it takes much more effort in the mornings to stand in the bathroom mirror and apply it. So if you can set up a space somewhere in your home where you can actually sit and just give yourself that space and time to get ready, you will actually start to enjoy your me time of putting yourself together every morning. Create a makeup routine that makes you look your best while simultaneously not taking up too much time. Don't forget to reapply throughout the day. Maybe your lipstick smudged off or you need to reapply powder. Remember to check throughout the day and reapply as needed. The next tip is to learn how to dress for your body shape. It is impossible to look put together when your clothes don't fit the right way. Study your type of body shape and determine how best to dress it. A lot of women have misconceptions about the types of clothes that flatter their body. For example, if you're on the heavier side, you may have been led to believe that baggy clothes hide stuff and therefore makes you look smaller. The opposite is actually true. The extra fabric isn't your body so it you visually look bigger. This body shape is more flattered by tighter fitting clothes. Other popular trends right now like the high-waisted mom jeans don't look good on every body shape. This is best suited for the Kendall Jenner, Gigi Hadid type of body shapes because on the average woman, it will make her appear shorter and her legs look wider. There are plenty of resources on the internet that you can use to learn about your body shape as well as inspiration to help you know exactly what to wear. One tip I have is before buying any article of clothing, be sure to try it on and love how it looks and fits on you. If you have even the slightest hesitation, like the color washes you out or it's a bit too tight for your liking, then don't buy it. This is all about being proactive. When you have the mindset of only buying clothes that you love, then one, you reduce the amount of money you spend on clothing and two, you clear up closet space for things you actually really like. 
How many times have we struggled with the phenomenon of having a closet full of clothes but still nothing to wear? Trying on clothes before you buy them to make sure you love how it looks on you is such a time saver in the mornings because you don't have to dig through your closet to find something. You already know that every article of clothing in your wardrobe makes you look good and feel confident. So please, when you're shopping, don't buy anything because you half like it or just buying it for the sake of buying something. Try it on and if you don't fall in love with it, then put it back on the shelf. The third tip is to accessorize. Small details really do add up and can help you go from looking like an average Joe to an elevated feminine woman. You can use accessories in a way to showcase your personality and your style. So if you're someone who loves to go all out, like wearing headscarves or wristwatches, then go ahead. Or maybe if you're someone who has a more simplistic style and your favorite accessory is a pair of pearl earrings, then that's fine too. Really, you can have a lot of fun accessorizing your outfit. From earrings, necklaces, bracelets, watches, hats, to things like belts, scarves, and sunglasses. Just make sure that how you accessorize matches the style of the garment you're wearing so that it doesn't look out of place. While on the topic of small details, another thing I would recommend is experimenting with finishing touches. What I mean by this is things like tucking in your shirt or only tucking in the front of the garment and leaving the backside out, maybe even cuffing your bottoms, leaving the collar of your blazer turned up or laid flat. Just take a second to stand in the mirror and try these little enhancements and see what works and what doesn't. You can really elevate your look by adding these finishing touches, even things like adding a belt over your dress. You can really get creative and put your signature style into it. The final tip is doing what I like to call a full body scan before you leave the house. Just check to make sure that everything looks well put together and in place. There are no creases in your shirt, no stains, you don't have any holes in your pants. Little things like this, people really do pay attention to it. And you don't want to miss something like this because you think it's a minuscule detail when in reality it really does diminish your look. Any little touch-ups you may need to do, like maybe fix your nail polish because it chipped a bit, or if you have any flyaway hairs, you can easily fix these things just by paying a little closer attention to these details. That's all for today's video. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you've enjoyed this video and want to continue your journey with us, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell.